we're here at CB 2009 at the IBM and we have an intelligent environment. And what, what are you showing here? So I'm showing here um, a video of a simulation of the ice ages for the last 400,000 years. Um, this is a, a model that we've that we developed at PIC at the Institute, which is driven by uh, ice core CO2 samples and also by the changes in the in the uh, seeing here the, the growth and shrinkage of the ice sheets based on based on these inputs of CO2. And we're using this to, to, to uh, validate this model. So we want to know if in the past we, we can reproduce in our simulation what actually happened in the past. That then gives us confidence in this model into the future. And we can use this, use this model with different CO2 inputs into the future to, to find out what the changes in, in uh, global average temperature are. So right now the, the animation is uh, 180,000 before Christ. Uh, would you have some like some recent uh, what's going on right now? I mean, the climate change. Is there something going on in, in your research? There There's is, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can show you another video of what we've got currently. The video that we have here is um, of uh, visualization of, of uh, vegetation change. This is a little bit more more intricate and a bit. Um, not, not exactly a straight line, if you like. So we have different CO2 emissions. The green line is if we start producing CO2 now. The red line is if CO2 emissions carry on high into the future. So we let this we let this run. This shows you that this is one track that we can follow into the future. One scenario. The red track is another possible future scenario. So we can drive our models using using a scenario like this. Yeah. And we can see, for example, here, this is, just pause there, this is showing on the right-hand side the global average, temp the gl the, the average temperature over yeah. the world in different regions, and on the left we're showing the, the change in temperature in certain regions. So as I let this run, you'll see for the next hundred years how, if you watch this one, especially in the northern latitudes, if you watch how this changes, given increasing CO2, we see a big increase there in in uh, the, the temperature in those regions, five degrees. Five degrees. This is this is under one particular CO2 scenario. Mm. Which is the maximum one, or uh, which is this, in this case is the maximum one. Yeah. It's that red line. And if we if we carry on, then we see that this is this also has an effect on, on precipitation. You can see in certain regions more, and this then affects the tree growth. So that if you watch in particular this area, you can see some, you can see how the forests under this particular scenario change. And this is this is the this is the actual change. So you see, purple is the is the areas of the biggest change. This is a software tool that we've that we've developed that shows this, puts all of this together in an easy to use way. So you can you can choose a scenario, you can choose a temperature. Sorry, choose choose a scenario that you can see the temperature development, precipitation, and also here you see the change in the fraction of trees. So you, where the trees are dying back and, and where they're increasing, and you can also change change this view to see different different aspects. This is the distribution, different types of vegetation. So this is uh, available for people to check out on the internet or. Um, on our, on our internet website, you can yeah. see, you can find different reports that have been written yeah. about this. Yeah, you can check it out at, at the so big website. So, IBM is sponsoring it, or um, we're here because our, our big new supercomputer is an IBM machine that we're using to get more detail into these into these simulations and get more accurate more accurate results. Great, thanks. Okay, you're welcome.